City Skyline 2 is finally out, and I wish I could be more excited for it, but the issue is I don't think my PC with a Ryzen 7950X, 64GB of RAM and RTX 4080 will be enough for this game, and trust me, I wish I was being sarcastic. So let's see exactly if the performance is truly as abhorrent as all the leaks and rumours have suggested up to this point. And uh, you know it's a good sign when even just the main menu runs at 5 FPS. Okay, so options wise we're gonna start off at 4K max, but I don't think that's gonna last long. The main thing I'm curious about is dynamic resolution scaling, which I'm assuming we have to go here for. Yep, there it is. And wait, what? Are you kidding me? FSR 1.0. That's all we have. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't see this. We just have something called Catmull ROM. What on earth is Catmull ROM? But where we're going, we don't need DLSS or other basic necessities like that. So let's see exactly how this goes. I'm kind of scared. Oh my word. We are at 8 FPS in a city with nothing in it with 99% GPU utilization already. I wonder if this other scaling mode will do any better. However, I uh, highly doubt it. Uh, yeah, that's exactly the same. One thing I did see was that apparently disabling depth of field can improve your performance. So uh, let's see if that's true. And it actually did. We gained a whole 4 FPS from that. Let's see if maybe medium settings are where it's at at 4K. And yeah, okay, that in itself did pretty much a trick. We're now at 50 FPS, wow. However, that is again in a city with a whopping uh, zero people living in it. Plus the compromises to quality are already kind of visible. I mean, if you look at the trees and the ground texture and road texture, it already doesn't look as good as those eight frames a second or so of those ultra high quality frames. Okay, I don't get anything anymore. I just went through the settings, made sure everything is about as maxed out as it could be. However, our FPS actually went up. I mean, look at this, literally everything is as high as it can be now. However, our FPS is actually higher. It's at 25 FPS, 28 now. Okay, let's get the simulation rolling. Let's get some zones and stuff like that and see if anything happens. Granted, I'm pretty sure that FSR is doing some heavy lifting because look at those trees. Those are not even trees anymore, just green blobs. What if I just completely disable FSR? What's gonna happen then? Our performance is the same. A am I going insane or is this game just all over the place? Now let's see what kind of performance the true centrists playing at 4040p can expect. And the interesting thing is that we barely gained anything, like 10 FPS extra. And the kind of ratio of CPU utilization to GPU utilization is also pretty much the same. So I wonder if it's still just VRAM limited. So here's the real test. If I now go back to 4K and make sure that everything is still maxed out, will the good performance actually keep up? Yeah, we're still at a very acceptable uh, 26 FPS, which compared to what we experienced earlier, I'll take. Now, as of this recording, Nvidia still hasn't released any new game-ready drivers for this game. However, I've seen that Intel have already released their own ARC graphics drivers for City Skylines 2 that apparently does boost the performance quite a bit on those GPUs. So if you want those early Intel ARC adopters, good for you. But anyway, seeing how the original City Skylines consumed almost 2000 hours of my life, I better get back to my little digital addiction here. But in the meantime, if this video was helpful at all, then maybe check out our Patreon because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way. While well, you get awesome perks, there's also huge thanks to our excellent patrons, Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Bala Shvelka, Not a Soon, and Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'm up next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.